Good morning, children. So we were discussing our changing earth. In this chapter, till now we have discussed about the major landforms, work of river, and the different form landforms formed by the river. Now, the very important thing is what. In this chapter, the two points are omitted. These are work of sea waves and work of ice. That means it is not going to come in the exam. But even then, I am going to complete this point so that you will understand these things also very clearly. So here we are going to see work of sea waves. Um, in the way as the work of the river water is there, the sea waves are also working to form the different kind of landforms. Let's try to understand what are this. The erosion and deposition of the sea waves gives rise to the coastal landforms. Sea waves continuously strike at the rocks. Cracks develop over the time. Uh, over the time, they become larger and wider. Thus, hollow-like caves are formed on the rock. They are called sea caves. As these cavities become bigger and bigger, only the roof of the caves remain, thus forming sea arcs. Further erosion breaks the roof and only walls are left. These wall-like features are called stacks. The steep rocky coast rising almost vertically above the sea water is called sea cliff. The waves deposit sediments along the shores forming beaches. So here we are understanding the work of the sea waves. So the erosion and deposition of the sea, sea wave gives the rise to the coastal landforms. So when the sea waves are striking continuously over the uh, landform of, of the uh, coastal area, it forms or it rises the different landforms of the coast. Sea waves continuously strike over the rocks. You know very well, you would have gone to any um, uh, area to visit or see uh, the sea beaches and all that. You would have seen that how the huge uh, sea waves are forming over there. And these sea waves are continuously striking over the uh, rocks. Then what happened due to that? The cracks are developing over the rocks of the coastal areas. And over in course of time, over the time, they become, these cracks are becoming larger, larger and wider. Then these cracks are, uh, after a certain point of time, uh, uh, these cracks are developing in the form of uh, sea caves. As these cavities become more bigger and bigger, only the roof of the caves remain. Thus, forming the sea arcs. Can you see here? Here it is a sea cave. And when these sea caves are... Uh, the, uh, see, this, this is the crack that is formed because of the striking of the water. And then the striking of the water converts into the sea caves. And then, then these sea caves are... When only the roof is remaining, these kind of hollow are called as the sea arcs. So these kind of sea arcs are forming after that. And further, when the erosion breaks the roof and only walls, uh, only walls are left, these wall-like features are called as stacks. Can you see in this picture? These wall-like features are called as the stack. When uh, these kind of sea arcs are forming and the work of the uh, sea work of the sea waves are continuously going on and this roof is also getting cut off because of uh, the force of the uh, sea waves then this kind of stacks are remaining this kind of walls are remaining and this kind of walls are called as the stacks then the steep rocky coast rising almost vertically above the sea water is called sea cliff when uh, um, we can say when only the sea 
so we can say only the steep rocky coast that is riding rising almost vertical above the sea water is called as the sea cliff means the straight or the very steep rocky coast when there is uh, near the coastal region this kind of steep rocky coast rising almost vertically above the sea water is called as sea cliff uh, the sea caves deposit sediments along the shores forming the beaches if you have gone uh, to visit the beaches in the mumbai and all that you know very well what are the beaches beaches actually the sandy uh, sandy shores are there It means very fine sand is over there deposited over there and these uh, areas of the very fine sands is called as the sea um, beaches now the another point that we're going to understand is work of ice in the same way the water in the sea as well as in the river works even the work uh, even the ice in the glaciers are also working now what kind of work the ice is doing let's say to understand glaciers are rivers of ice which too erode the landscape by bulldozing soil and stones to expose the solid rock below glaciers carve out deep hollows as the ice melts they get filled up with water and become beautiful lakes in the mountains the material carried by the glaciers such as rocks big and small sand and silt gets deposited these deposits form glacial moraines so in the same way the river water as well as the water in the sea both are acting on to the different land uh, to form the different landforms the glaciers ice in the glaciers you know you know very well what are the glaciers glaciers are the uh, rivers of ice so glaciers are also forming the different kind of land landscape by bulldozing soil and sand uh, soil and stone uh, to expose the solid rock below the glaciers glaciers carve out deep uh, very deep hollows and the depressions and as the ice melts when the ice ice is getting melt uh, when the ice melts they get filled with with the water and these uh, hollow or the deep hollows then converts into the beautiful lakes in the mountain the material carried by the glaciers such as rocks big and small sand and silt uh, they all get deposited at certain place these deposits form glacial moraines so as you can see here this is the glacier in such kinds of glacier in such kind of glaciers the here you can see the uh, one line is there in between the glacier this is the moraine or the dip, uh, or we can say eroded material by the work of the ice uh, eroded material from this mountainous areas from side by side also you can see this lines of the moraines these are also uh, carved out or we can say eroded from the different parts of the mountainous area and then somewhere it is getting deposited and these moraines are also forming the different kind of landforms now the next and the last point is the work of wind have you ever visited a desert try to collect some pictures of sand dunes an active agent of erosion and deposition is the deserts is wind in deserts you can see rocks in the shape of mushrooms commonly called mushroom rocks winds erode the lower section of the rock more than the upper part therefore such form such rocks have narrower base and wider top when the wind blows it lifts and transports sand from one place to another when it stops blowing the sand 
falls and gets deposited in low hill like structures these are called sand dunes when the grains of sand are very fine and light the wind can carry it over very long distances when such sand is deposited in large areas it is called loess large deposit deposits of loess is found in china so here we are going to understand here we are understanding the work of wind um, if you will see the desert if you have visited the desert or you would have seen the pictures of the desert you will come to know that there are the huge sand dunes as you can see in this picture these are all what these are all sand dunes in the desert so uh, in the desert areas what is the active agent of erosion it is wind so wind is the active agent of erosion in the desert areas in desert uh, you can see different kind of rocks you will find over there for example mushroom rock uh, it looks like a mushroom and therefore this kind of rocks are called as the mushroom rocks now when this kind of mushroom rocks are forming when the winds erode the lower section of the rock more than the upper part therefore such rocks have narrower base and wider top when this kind of narrower base and wider tops are forming they look like the, these uh, rocks which are eroded in such way they look like the mushroom and therefore these rocks are called as the mushroom rocks when the wind blows it lifts and transports sand from one place to another so uh, when the winds are blowing continuously in the desert they lift the sand and they transport the sand to one place to another place when it stops blowing the sand falls and gets deposited in low hill like structures so when these sand is blowing continuously and it is when the wind is getting stopped or wind is get, becoming slower that time the uh, when the blowing wind stops and the blowing sand also falls down onto the ground on the uh, low hilly regions uh, or low hill like structures then such kind of sand dunes are forming as you can see over here as you can see over here such kind of landforms are forming so uh, in this way the sand dunes are forming when the grains of sand are very fine and light the wind can carry it over very long distances so that means when the a uh, wind can carry it uh, when the sand are very fine light the wind can carry it to the long long distances when such uh, sand is getting deposited in the huge or large areas these areas of the sand dunes are called as the loess the large deposits of loess you will find in the country like china so here our chapter is completed our changing earth this chapter is completed in the next period we are going to understand the question and answers related to the chapter and till then in this period we are going to understand uh, we are going to uh, take your doubts thank you very much